Could a star live inside a black hole? Not exactly, but the reverse is true. In a quasi-star, a massive star is so huge that a newborn black hole forms inside it, feeding from the core and keeping the whole star alive. In the earliest galaxies, if gas falls into the center fast enough, around a solar mass per year or more, radiation gets trapped and a bloated envelope forms, the core collapses into a black hole that keeps the whole object glowing by accreting from within. Because the envelope's total mass sets the Eddington limit, the black hole can grow far faster than a normal star-fed black hole, racing to 10 superscript 310 solar masses in a few million years, just what we need to explain supermassive black holes seen when the universe was young. As the black hole fattens, the photosphere cools toward a Hayashi-like floor, 4000 K, once it hits that limit, the envelope can no longer stay hydrostatic and is blown away, leaving behind a massive seed black hole that later lights up as a quasar. We haven't spotted a quasi-star directly, they're expected at very high redshift, but theory predicts cool, red, infrared bright signatures that JWST could catch, and recent modeling even suggests the black hole can claim a larger fraction of the envelope than earlier estimates, strengthening the case that quasi-stars are a rapid factory for giant black hole seeds.